if it is MTN FA Cup match. Obia Nubia. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. We are coming to you from the Sunyai Coronation Park. It's MTN FA Cup action and this afternoon it's a quarter final tie between the home side Bofwa Kwatano Football Club. They are playing as hosts to Sky FC who have travelled all the way from Dabwase in the western region. Emmanuel Ansan as the key goalkeeper for Sky as the uh, game gets underway. Swung deep into the 18-yard box. Heads go up, defending by Sky. The dramatic kick there, not too powerful. The ladies, the gentlemen, they're all here enjoying an afternoon of football. But Fakwatano looking purposeful as they come forward. The Janine Boating overdid it on that occasion. But it's a chance for Elijah. Oh! Experience, they say, is the best teacher. The fans will have a very long day in terms of cheering. But Fakwatano have started off well. He controlled it nicely. Elijah picked his spot, beat goalkeeper Emmanuel Ansar to it. Early in the first half. And it's Elijah Adai. Mr. Wilson, Arthur. Another opportunity for Elijah this time. Elijah Adai is behind the ball. Elvis Opoku may fancy his chances. And so can Saka Dauda, who scored from the free kick. Elvis once again. Elijah took that free kick. Elvis now to Elijah. Elijah Swift. An opportunity for Sky. Can they hit one on target? They come through. Goalkeeper was nearly beaten. Yes. And Sky FC get themselves back into the game. He is showing why he is the leading goal scorer in Zone Two in Division One. Get Sky FC back into the game. Build up was good. He laid on the pass. Expected the return. It didn't come. The shot came off goalkeeper Emmanuel Kobe, and he was there to nod in the rebound. Kelvin didn't get there early, could not prevent uh, the goal from coming through. Goalkeeper did well to get it to it first time. But quick reflexes from Andrews Kobner. Eventually comes down. Kobner gets the ball. Lays it to the far side. That's good enough. Can he get a shot on target? Goalkeeper comes up to narrow the angle. That was close. Close shave indeed. But it's not done and dusted. Still come forward. And they get a corner kick for their effort. Opportunities coming the way of Sky FC. And uh, Kobna did well to get to the ball that time around. And then the cross was on from Enchi Kunedu. And is the man who's been effecting all the throw-ins for Sky FC. There's no marking in the 18-yard box. Ooh. Completely lost the direction this time around. Here we go, second half of the game. Through the middle, this looks good. Bofakwata no have opportunities. Charles lays it onto the far side and then the cross comes in. Oh! Connection was good. It just went over the top. Saka Dauda knows that. Sky FC are very unlucky. Cross came in. Nicely done. Saka got to it all right. But ballooned it over the top of the goal post. Lovely dummy, first time of asking, he tries to go through the middle, shot is on target and that was a brilliant effort. John Daz did very well, quick dummy, and then let one go from that left foot of his. Sakon loses the ball, he comes through the middle, opportunity for Bofa Kwatano. Saka is in the 18-yard box, but his chest could not go around the yellow shirts around him. Abdul Bashiru goes down game continues with Fakwa. They are not in a play mode at this stage. Charles Mensah controls nicely. Beats one on the trot. And they get a free kick. It goes over the top. 
through the middle. Sky FC, they don't have players marked. Shot on target. Goalkeeper had to stretch. It went to the far side. H. Lovely dummy. Gets close to the 18-yard box. Creates an opportunity. Could that be the turning? And then the shot is fired on target against the crossbar. That was the defending at the other end. Sky FC came up with an opportunity. Fired against the crossbar. Saka, heavily policed. He looks for options, finds Blessing Dana into the 18 yard box. It's headed on. Pardonable miss there from Prince Ajay Asamoa. Fans are a little bit agitated in the stands. Thought Bopa Patano could have ended the game within regulation time. Yes, Saka. He's pushed off the ball. Opportunities for Najib. He lays on the pass to Steven. Steven creates the space. Finds Blessing Dana. Blessing fires a shot, but it goes completely off target. All and that is the end of proceedings here at the Sunyai Coronation Park. Penalty kicks in the second quarter final of the MTN FA Cup. Let's get ready for the first penalty kick. In he goes. One, two, three. Easy does it. Kobe Emmanuel displaces him as well. He doesn't go far. Oh, what a cheeky penalty. Fosuche scores easily. Blessing goes in. One, two, three. Hits the roof of the net, no problems at all. In he goes. Against the crossbar. He's going to come from behind, there he comes. In he goes. Registers the fourth goal. Martin Owusu comes up against Emmanuel Kobe. Scores nicely. Now comes to Stephen Owusu. In he comes. One, two, three. Completely, completely off target. Registered the goal fair and square. Can he crown it with a goal from the penalty spot? He does. Slowly. Slowly. Goalkeeper saving it on the stroke of the line. Goalkeeper saving it on the stroke of the line. Emmanuel Kobe. Keeps Bofwa Kwatano alive. He guessed right. He dived right. Saved it. Prevented it from entering the goalpost. The last kick was taken by Andrews Kobina. They battled and battled gallantly. But Bofwa Kwatano have shown them that they are the Premier League campaigners. If it is MTN FA Cup match, Obia Nubia.